Let's look at the use of enzymes in technology. This is a personal one for me. Lactose intolerance. Just kidding. <laughs> I could eat plenty of ice cream. No problems at all. Actually, this tends to affect uh, various uh, subgroups of people more often than others. And sometimes you may feel like you're lucky, but as you get older, you may realize that this may be something that affects you as well too. But luckily, we have technology which can help us with this entire thing so mmm look at that nice creamy mmm delicious mmm I love all that and oopsies lactose intolerance sucks so what is this we're talking about here uh, lactose is the main sugar that's found in milk so any kind of milk product contains a lot, a lot of lactose uh, turns out there's an enzyme called lactase Lactase is an enzyme that can break lactose down, and lactose is actually a disaccharide made up of two monosaccharides, and uh, the two monosaccharides are glucose and galactose. When you combine a glucose and galactose molecule, you get lactose, which is found in all kinds of milk products. Um, lactase can be obtained from yeast, and then what we can actually do is we can uh, purify this lactase and then sell it to food manufacturers and pharmaceutical companies to help break down lactose. Now, why would we want to break down lactose? Well, I just told you some people are lactose intolerant, so they can't do it naturally. So you can actually help them with this process if you want to continue indulging and in eating tons of ice cream and cheese and anything that has milk in it. Look at that, see what you can buy. All these fast acting lactase, ultra lactase, lactase enzyme, eat ice cream again. But turns out food manufacturing companies also use lactase for several reasons, especially in the production of ice cream, we're gonna see. Uh, so some people are lactose intolerant, we talked about that, can't handle more than 250 milliliters of milk per day. That includes uh, any of the other things that actually contain milk products. One other thing in the production of ice cream and such things are that uh, since you're using milk in there anyways, it turns out that lactose is not a very sweet type of carbohydrate, but the two components that it's made up of, galactose and glucose, are much sweeter. So when you're making ice cream, instead of adding more glucose into it, you can just break down the lactose that is there and then you, you're automatically making a product that is more sweet tasting without having to add extra sugar in there. So galactose and glucose are sweeter than lactose. Another thing in the production of ice cream, there's a lot about ice cream in this one, is that lactose makes the ice cream taste uh, kind of gritty. It's, there's that extra bite to it, kind of like sandy kind of feeling. It's uh, due to crystallization. But if you actually break down the lactose into galactose and glucose, uh, these are much more soluble. So it turns out the ice cream tastes and feels much more smooth and creamy and sweeter as a result of that breakdown there. And in the production of cheese, this is making me hungry. Uh, bacteria actually ferment galactose and glucose much more efficiently than lactose, and so it can actually speed up the production of cheese, which is always great if you're a cheese-making company. So uh, it's used in two ways. You can either add it directly to the final, uh, add it directly to the milk, and so when you're drinking the milk products or eating the milk products, um, you're actually eating some of the lactase enzyme as well too so the final product can contain the enzyme or you can use devise a a clever way something like this where you basically have little beads or some kind of surface like a wall that's covered in lactase and the lactase enzymes have been fused uh, to the actual balls or to the wall basically and then the milk is dripped through this actual stuff and so the milk actually interacts with the enzyme that's stuck to the surface of the balls and then so the milk in the end uh, comes out and it's the milk has already been processed and the lactose has been broken down to glucose and galactose and so your final product that you sell doesn't actually contain the enzyme but contains uh, the results of what that enzyme was doing which is breaking down lactose into glucose and galactose so that's kind of clever so it can be lactase can be immobilized stuck on a surface and milk will flow past the immobilized lactase will react with it and it'll just avoid contamination of the product with lactase so you don't get lactase stuck in the milk product in the end which might not be so bad but uh, in case people are thinking I don't want that much extra enzyme flowing through my body that could be an issue 
Okay, there you go. That's uh, one way that enzymes are used in technology. There's various others if you want to look up. There's another one called pectinase. Pectinase is used in fruit juice production. It helps to maximize the amount of juice that's actually taken out of things like oranges and everything like that. So, uh, good luck next time you are eating milk products and don't let this get to your mind where you start thinking you're lactose intolerant um, when it's really just your guilty conscience telling you that you're eating too much ice cream. Goodbye.